topmonday.com workflow examples hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you the top examples for your workflow on monday.com so having said that let's just jump into it so over here i'm on monday.com and as you can see this is their website and over here we have a bunch of different options to, to get started with so over here we have some options or categories to choose from so get started so let's just assume that we want to have like a project management and just simply click on get started and over here just simply sign up by entering in your email address or you can sign up with google as well and after you've signed up they're going to ask you for your full name and your account name to get started simply fill out these information and we can get started with the next part of this video and over here they're basically going to ask hey what brings you here so work personal school whatever so just simply going to choose work I'm just simply going to choose freelancer and click on next. You can choose whichever option you most feel comfortable with. Then you have your other categories. So what would you like to manage first? So we have product management, operations, software development, other things as well. So we're just going to choose, uh, we're going to choose none of this and click on continue. And then we want to have like project management and click on continue. And over here, one last question. How did you hear about them? Let's just say that we heard about them from social media and click on continue and then wait a couple of seconds for it to load up and boom you are good to go and then over here you just simply add in a bunch of different emails to invite your team if you want to have one and you can also do it later as well so we're going to do this later and over here they're basically going to ask you to give your first board a name basically create a board so over here reflecting what you're working on so let's just enter in the board name over here and click on next and then they want to select what would you like to manage in continuum basically want to manage projects i want to click on continue and a group is a way to easily you know cluster your projects so you can over here manage them as well so for example let's just say we can have like scripts we can have voiceovers as well now you can add more of these later on but this is for for the start and then what you want to do is just enter in the name of your project let's just say uh script number one and then script number two and click on complete and then wait for a couple of seconds because it's going to create your template and boom once it's loaded up you're good to go so this is how it looks like this is your you know first view of your board so over here you have a bunch of different options you have your timeline view as well you can change this for you as well so first things first we're going to change the view we're going to make it more simpler so what we want is cards so I found that cards have a more simpler view like this one over here so it's pretty simple it's really easy right simply click on a card and you are good to go so that's how it looks like now this is the now over here you can add different cards over here so for example because and this is how it looks like now what I want to do is I basically want to create a new board right so what I'll do is I'll go back over here onto the left side over here we have a bunch of different options and I want to click on main workspaces over here and i want to click on browse all so that i can see all of my workspaces and over here you will have all of your workspaces so basically workspaces are where you actually you know get your work done now this one was the one that they you know made for us let's go ahead and create a new workspace from the scratch and i'm going to keep it closed okay so we can choose close because that's only for the uh, enterprise only so we're going to choose like open and we're going to call it demo for now you can call it whatever you want and click on create workspace and boom there you go now over here you have a bunch of different options but we're going to add from a template we're going to go into templates and we have a bunch of different options over here now we want to have like a project management one so we have multi-project agile project risk project stakeholders and multi many many more what we're going to be choosing is this one called agile project management and we're going to click over here because it's a lot simpler and it's very very easy as well so so we're just simply going to click on use this template and try to see how it looks like and over here this is how it's going to look like you have a bunch of different options over here so you have your projects over here you have the owners basically the assigned to you have your opportunities and priorities you have your you know domains tier list and stuff like that all very cool all very simple but what we want to do is we want to change it to another view so we, what we want to do is we want to click on add new view we want to change it to the kanban which is pretty simple over here this is how it looks like 
over here it's set to priority but it doesn't really matter we can go ahead and change that as well you know set the column names to projects different projects you know stuff like that so that's how you basically you create one let's go ahead and go back to the main workspace that was we earlier created for our you know group channel which was script and stuff like that over here we're also going to change it back to the kanban view which is going to look like this so over here this is how it's going to look like so you have you're working on it stuck done and empty right so this is how it basically looks like and over here you can add different columns as well so let's go ahead and create a new column and then you can add like a new project over here actually i'm going to go ahead and add a new project video ideas let's say you are a media group like i am who are working with a bunch of different clients and have to create a bunch of different videos right so we're going to add video ideas and over here we're going to create all right and over here so you can add like a new create a new group and we can go back to the main table over here and over here you will see the new group added all right now why would you need to use the kanban you well it's pretty simple if you have like a bunch of different projects that you want to be you know simplify for example let's say you know over here we have a video idea what we need to do is let's just say that we need to have find a more information on the next marvel movie all right so the, it's currently in the new group we can change it to whatever we want right we can change it to different groups and then we can assign different people over it and we can add change the status as well so we can add a state so we can add it to you know stuck done later or whatever and we can edit these labels out as well so for example let's just say this is working on it we'll take it stick it like that and we'll just say this one uh, discarded so for example some projects can be discarded some tasks so we'll go ahead and add to that to that and then we can done and then we can have another label which will be like new ideas and over here we can call it blue and we can keep it blue and boom there you go so as you can see we have the new idea over here what we can do is we can put it over here you know move it back over here and we can move this one over here and same goes with discarded ones we'll put the discarded ones at the end we'll actually remove the empty one as well so actually let me just edit the labels out boom there we go and we'll change the color of this one and put it like and we can keep it like that and we can add different projects over here so let's say new project are going to be over here keeping it simple so now whenever you have a new project or you have a new you know information you can add those over here and you can assign different people to it as well if you want you can let your you know team assign themselves over it as well that's also a good option and once they you know start working on it they can just move it over here onto the working section and once they've completed it they found everything and then they can move it over here and boom you're good to go so so these were the ones over here for the uh for the script ones all right we can change the group names over here so we can have like this group for the scripts groups you know over here are going to be the scripts over here are going to be the video actually these are already the scripts ones so we can like you know move this down over here underneath the uh, voiceover so we can call this one the actual video all right and we can move the video down underneath voiceovers as well boom there you go so we have our scripts up over at the top then we have our voiceovers and then we have our video so that's how you basically do it and then you could create a new group as well if you want to and over here we have you know a bunch of different projects as well so then over here if you select this you click on the kanban view and then you are good to go so that's how you basically do it you keep it simple really really clean right nothing too overboard you are, I had different projects over here. You assign different people over here, and you have your statuses over here at the top at the end. And then you can put in a date, and you can put in another status one and two, and you can add another column to it as well. So if you want to, you know, add another column, just simply click on the plus button at the end, and you can add more, you know, options over here. So you can add like a timeline, you can add like a tag, you can add like connect boards, you can add sub items, you can add dependencies, time tracking, and stuff like that. So they're all very useful and really really easy and this is basically the easiest one out there all right and you can even you know collapse this group as well so you can add it to different group you can select all projects you can ask collapse this group as well 
so there you go you have a bunch of different options you can move it you can rename it you can change it you can you know export it to the excel one it all depends on you so this is basically how you you know set up a workflow it's all really nice really simple so this is how i basically do it i like to use the kanban and i like to add different cards over here you know add new projects i just click on them select the projects and move them over here working on them and when they're done i move them over here or if there's like in some error or for some reason i can't we'll move you know work on that project i move them over to the discard one and i click on the project and i put over here this and i can also add like a comment over here so for example and i can create a new column over here and i can go like you know uh i can status two which is and i can add different files over here so for example i can add like a you know a document type of file which is really and yeah that's basically how you do it now if you are using the kanban view i do have to say that if you're going to use it first you got to make sure that you edit these labels out like you go into the main table over here and over here what you're going to do is you're going to edit these statuses right you're going to have to edit them out beforehand so if you want to have like let's say as i said before new ideas we're gonna have that over there right you can add like you know voiceovers uh completed over here and over here you can be like rejected or whatever and you can add like new ideas and then you can add a new label and you can call that whatever you want and then you can just simply click on apply and you're good to go and then when you go into the kanban view you will have all of them set up as i said before so over here just simply add in your projects over here add in your assign them to your team and then move them over here for you know i have two new ideas which is weird but you know i think i forgot to delete one and then what you can do is you can move them to another one where you can say like working on them actually we should have added that one as well so over here instead of new ideas i'm gonna add working on or you know something like that and then i can go into kanban and then that's how it looks like so you're going to have your ideas over here you're going to have your working on projects over here completed over here and empty over here and rejected over here and keep this empty if you want uh, i just i don't know why i created this you can create whatever you want it doesn't really matter but the reason is this is usually my workflow this is how i usually work this is how i've set up team we don't usually use monday.com but you know it's still good it's pretty nice so that is it for this video guys if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye